Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. This time we're jumping in as good old Mr. Skeleton, and we have two different Ultras to go for here. We have one which is going to require us to hold a blood gun, as it says there, and the other one is going to require us to have been revived. So we've got two different ones to go for here. I'm pretty excited to go for both. Um, we'll put the crown on. We did mess around previously, as you probably remember, with the crown of drowning which is really interesting for creating krakens and i think i'm gonna mess around with it again basically we can um get rid of all of our ammo and then use blood gamble to um create additional kraken babies which do some really good stuff for us we'll see if we can make it work again no 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 in here please yeah we get ammo at the end of each stage we also are starting with a, a very very good weapon with this guy but we're going to be looking for a blood weapon for the first run. And the other one we're going to try and be reborn. Being reborn, there's a few different items that can do that for us. But I think the best one is going to be, um... I can't remember what it's called now. I honestly can't remember what it's called. We'll know it when we see it. Cool. Let my Krakens do their thing. Morph on that, why not? Oop, that went through there straight away. Come on, little Kraken fellas, let's go! Okay, um... None here. I mean, we could go with Alien Tessin, actually. That could be kind of fun with this. And then maybe Plutonium Hunger as well, just because it's amazing. Yeah, I want to I wanna work with this Kraken thing, it's very fun. Although we do kind of need our Throne Butt. Throne Butt does make this a lot easier. It would make things a lot simpler for us. Oh god, hello. But yeah, we can just sort of keep firing here. Get some Krakens coming in. Oh my god, I did not expect to be exploded there. Yeah, a throne butt makes it a lot easier, so it'd be good if we can get that. Good, good. We've got a few Krakens walking about the place. We've got another inverted area over here. Lovely. No, thank you. Oh, come on. I've got such little health to work with. Morph weapon. I love the fact that it turns them into golden sheep. That's my absolute favourite thing. Just that extra bit of detail. It's not necessary. It's just for style, but it's it's so goddamn good. Where's our next area? Obviously, this isn't going to level us up the quickest, but I still think it's fun. Just keep firing. Makes everything take double ammo. We get ammo at the end of every stage, only a little bit there. And then when we run out of ammo, we spawn a Kraken. It's good stuff. Oh my god, we've created an absolute vast army of sheeps here. And now our Krakens go forth and do our bidding for us. They, they absolutely destroy, by the way. They do some really good damage. But yeah, better Blood Gamble chances would be would go a long way for us here. We'll try and grab that wherever we can. And we're going to be looking for a Blood Weapon to hold on to. There it is. 33% chance better Blood Gamble odds. It's actually not a bad weapon to start with as well. Does very good damage. And obviously, turns things to sheeps, which never going to turn my nose up at that. Turning things to sheeps is just fun. It's just plain silly. It's just plain fun. And <laughs> when there's this many maggots and stuff, oh my god, it's so funny when you get like thousands of sheep. There should be like a little achievement or unlock or something for like getting so many sheep in one stage. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, man. Okay. I'm probably going to have to go back to... I don't know. No, I'm, I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to stick with this. I like it too much. Okay. Shotgun will go with that. Let's go straight through here. God damn it. I should forget how little health you have as this guy. 
You can't blood gamble on one HP either, I don't think. Okay. We can make this work. We can make this work. There you go, we got an army going for us now. Come on, army. Sometimes they don't want to do what you want them to do, which is a little annoying. Ooh, the Kraken Pistol. Kraken Pistol works for us here. You don't need a lot of Krakens. It's not like you need to constantly create them. Like, having just two or three to do your bidding is kind of enough. You just want something with fast fire, like fast fire rate that can go through ammo quickly. Okay. Got an inverted area up here as well. Wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. Cool. Come on, Kraken buddies. Let's go. Still looking for that blood weapon. Uh, rhino skin seems good here. And honestly, we'll go with that as well for the extra life. I think we can use that as our extra life for our other mute. Okay, having extra health to work with for this is very, very nice. Oh my god, he almost destroyed me. Kraken buddies? Kraken buddies! Where did you all go? You all died so quickly. Ah, oh, man. Okay, first of all, let's... Quickly change to not having randomized weapons, because that is definitely annoying at the moment. I think I want to just go for, um... Golden Kraken Pistol. And stick with that. And then not be absolutely blasted every single time here. Yeah, more ways to gain HP are going to be good for us here. Faster leveling up would be nice with open mind, maybe. Getting trigger fingers with this could be good. Just that extra fire rate. Beautiful. I just wish the Krakens had a little bit better AI in terms of, like, seeking out enemies and not getting fucking stuck on walls. <laughs> they like to get stuck on walls. Um, go with that. Go with that. Last Wish, that's the one I was looking at before. We should, should, should have grabbed Last Wish there. So we could just Last Wish really early on. Yeah, see, this is why the Krakens are amazing. This is why we like them. They do some amazing things. <laughs> Not every time. Sometimes they're, they are a little bit special and don't really know what this, what's going on with them. You kind of just wander around aimlessly. Yeah, Kraken Pistol's a really good one here because the Kraken just kind of auto-aiming and able to hit things nice and easily for us. And it uses a lot of ammo. Got much else up here? That we do. Ah, oh, really? I finally spawned my Kraken. There's one of these guys up here. Right, I'm going to Blood Gamble once we get back over there. With 4 HP, it's not the most ideal. Now with 2 HP. This is the problem. We're always going to be lacking HP, but yeah. I wish they'd just kind of go ahead and do their thing. There's a Blood Weapon, finally. I think having some Blood Weapons just saved up is going to be good. Uh, this doesn't affect blood, does it? It does affect tentacles, though. Tentacles stun enemies. I like that idea. But plutonium hunger... That's going to give us more ammo, though. Let's not go for that. Yeah, I think the tentacles being able to stun is potentially pretty nice. Okay. Go, my buddies, go. And they can, I think they'll walk around and stun things for us as well. Got Kraken Gun here. I think we'll go for the Kraken Gun over the Kraken Pistol. Thrown butt. Yes, please. Okay. 
Oh, really? I didn't think that'd hurt me. God damn it. Okay. Just keep going. Let them do their thing. Yeah, I, I, I just wish they had a slightly better AI at seeking out enemies that are off screen. Then they'd be perfect. Then they would be perfect. Right now, very good though. Still very good. You just have to kind of guide them is all. They're not very self-sufficient. As you can see, they're doing a bang-up job right now. I mean, just a cracking gun early on as well is, is very, very nice. It's just, I like it being sort of on theme here. Oh, look at that. When they're on top of an enemy, ain't nothing that enemy can do. These guys are coming. They will destroy you. It's not always going to work that way. Um... Thrown butt again. Where are we going? I just like as well with a Kraken weapon, I can keep firing it to waste ammo and still potentially hit enemies because it kind of has that homing effect. Works very nicely. Don't get stuck on the wall, guys. I spawned you all in for a reason. Not to dilly dally. Um. Hmm. Tough Shell's probably a good one, actually. Tough Shell's probably a good one. Right. These guys get in there. Obviously, they'll blow up cars for me and stuff as well, which can be a little frustrating at times, but overall, is usually decent. <laughs> Come on, fellas. There's an enemy over there. Run to him, my boys. Run to him. Beautiful stuff. Almost blew up the car on me once again. Cheeky buggers. Cheeky motherfucking buggers. Okay. We're all out again. Blood gamble like four or five times. Car, please don't hurt me. Okay, now I've got some ammo I can work with. It's a risky way to play the game, this, but goddamn is it so much fun. The Kraken build is just... It's probably my favourite in the entire game. It's so wacky, it's so weird, but it, it's just beautiful. It works so well. Um, Still need to find a blood weapon at some point. Fists could be good here. God, this thing uses quite a bit of ammo, so this could be a good one. Are you kidding me? Where the hell did you come from? I did not see that guy at all. Damn you. I think he was, like, laid, like, right sort of here, so I could only see the tippy top of his head. That was evil. And you know it was, game. I can kill myself with, with my blood gamble. I was just checking. I didn't think I could, but apparently I can. Gotta be a little bit careful with that, then, when the, the way that I spam it. I just blood gambled myself again. God damn it. Okay. Scrap that. We're going back to the regular tactic. Back to the regular tactic. Because we need to unlock these ultras. And I'm doing a very terrible job at it thus far. Very terrible indeed. We'll come back to the Kraken strategy one day. 
It was fun to start with. Nailgun? Oh, Nailgun's kind of interesting. Nailgun Bolt Marrow. Seems kind of good. Ammo hungry though. Can still use Blood Gamble on occasion when necessary. Dude, starting with 4 HP as this guy is not it, man. I can't. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Back to the menu again. Skeleton. We're gonna go with the Golden Splinter Gun, I think. This thing will- this thing will carry us through. Tail End plus Bolt Marrow. Dude. The HP this guy starts with is, is just for us. I need so much more. Thank you. Thank you muchly. Right, um... I don't really know here. I'm gonna go with Mood Swing for later on. Right, so we need a Blood Weapon. That is our main goal right now. Even if it's a really crappy one that we have to hold for the rest of the run. Just to have a blood weapon. I mean, normally you find quite a lot early on, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Rhino skin is, is just an absolute must at this stage. I want normal HP, please. Our HP is depressing me. I wish to be normal once more. I wish to be back to my full potential. Okay, there's a little micro missile chasing me. How the bollocks am I meant to fucking avoid this bullshit? <laughs> God damn it. Skeleton is is not not it for us. We've been playing so well recently on getting our ultras. Skelly Bob isn't it for us. He is not doing what we need him to do. Bolt Marrow is going to be very nice here. Lovely. Yeah. This is going to carry us for a little while here. You watch us get a blood weapon like straight away and have to put it down there. Nah, to be fair, I'll probably leave it even if we find one straight away. We can get one later down the line. Good. Don't know why I really opened that for one singular ammo, but there you go. What's done is done. Um. Probably go with impact wrists here. Makes the most sense for just clearing stuff out quickly. Plutonium hunger's up next. Tail end, whatever it's called, is definitely on the list too. Blood bullet shotgun there. There's one. I'm going to gamble. I'm going to hold off on taking a blood weapon just yet and hope that we get one later. Really? It's one enemy over there. Why? Um, tough Shell could be good here. Go with Tough Shell. Don't know if Tough Shell will do a ton for us, but It'll save us from some things, here and there. It's not quite as good as it used to be. It used to be like a must pick. It's now just a, it's pretty decent sort of thing. Okay. We're making our way through levels quickly though, that's good. We can get a revive mute and do the revive one instead. In fact, I think we can get a revive crown, so... Multiple ways for us to do that. Hypersomnia.
Hypersomnia plus uh, Impact Risk is kind of good as well, actually. I think all the enemies like automatically sort of lined up while they're asleep. It's kind of nice. I'm playing reasonably well again, though. Let's hope we can keep it up. God knows if I can, but let's see if we can. Straight through again. Oh my god. I love this. <laughs> Hypersomnia, you're the best. Even invisible enemies, no longer invisible. I can see where they're sleeping. You stole 16 ammo from me, you dick. Keep them away. Bayonet rifle. Kraken tail. Oh! Uh. Kind of interesting. Oh, I clicked out of the game there by accident. Crack and tail, that's kind of funny. Like a wrong direction style thing. Ah, <sighs> one more little maniac chilling over here. Go with that bad boy. Still waiting on our revive to come in. Oh my god. I'm not even needing my blood gamble yet, but it's only really when you have like high ammo cost things that you really need that. I forget what this area is like, I'll be honest. Which scares me even more because this could be like instant death if I'm not careful. Weapon drop, why not? There's a blood launcher. We're out to level 7 already. Do I go with a blood launcher? I'm going to give it a go. It's, it's, it's going to be a shame because that's that setup was really good, but... It seems good. It seems good. Yeah, having all of those asleep back there is very, very nice. Yeah, the blood launcher seems very, very strong. Ammo-wise, though, it's chunking through. Ammo-wise, it's using quite a bit. Um, which is why I'm going to take Rabbit Paw, I think. Taking out the teapot guys early. Imperative to our survival. I like the bounce we've got on this now as well. I thought the boss was on this stage. Or is that next stage? Must be next stage. Morph or Splinter. Probably go with Splinter considering we have Herming. Oh shit. Wasn't expecting that. I okay, wasn't expecting the boss so soon. Really wasn't expecting the boss to just literally jump on top of my fucking head. Fuck me. Okay, that was fun. The boss just spawned on top of me. This looks like one that we're not really going to get in this episode, guys. I'd like to get at least one of them, but... I've got limited time today. That was insane. That The boss normally spawns after a little bit, not straight away. And the boss just spawned instantly and like right on top of me. Shot a bunch of bullets directly on top of me. Some premium BS right there. I did take an open mind early here, so we should be leveling up very, very quickly this time around. We've got our Bolt Marrow back again, so we've got a good setup for getting through the early levels. Look at all that shit down there. Oh god, the boss just spawned at the worst time there. I was not ready. Beautiful. Uh, 
Um, Thermium hunger for the HP and stuff. Plutonium hunger is weird. It's like it doesn't seem like it's super amazing, but it's actually like one of the best defensive and offensive tools out there. Because level up quicker and easier, more reliably. Um, triple blood rifle, a little bit early for that, I think. Um, get health easier when it drops. Get ammo easier. It's like it just all around is very, very good. A sniper got me from miles away. Okay, last attempt, people. Last attempt, because I don't have a ton of time today. I was only planning on doing a half an hour episode here. Um, and I thought we'd be able to get at least one of these done, but... Skeletons, another beast, unfortunately. Skeleton, don't play by no rules, really. Slightly annoying. Plutonium hunger early on is good stuff. Yeah, it seems pretty unassuming to start with, but the more you think about it, it's like, oh damn, this thing does everything. It's just the fact that one hit puts you on one HP. It's so rough, man. It's so rough. Oh god. Don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'm happy I didn't. Really? You're going to spawn here and fire a missile at me straight away? Good for you. I'm not sure how to dodge those little micro-missiles. They just seem to chase you indefinitely. Look this little micro-missile here, look. Go away. How do I destroy you? Why can't I shoot you down? <laughs> I should be able to shoot you down. Annoying. Ow. Down to one HP again. Why is it going to do it to me? Why you got to put me on that one HP? Tail's end. Tails end just means more shots fired with this. Oh, that didn't, guy didn't die, lovely. I thought he did. He did not. Good. Rhino skin. So we have regular HP. Don't you dare swipe at me, fool. Sniper, no sniping. Okay, through again, and out again, <laughs> straight in, straight out. Why, why are the snipers allowed to spawn behind the boss? Blood glove, god that would be a spicy one to use wouldn't it? How does the micro shotgun work with tail end? That seems pretty good. I think I'm going to go for that. Seems pretty goddamn good to me. Hoping it works out. Um, go with that again. More chests is also a better way to get better blood weapons and stuff. Oh, uh, 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 mm, 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 mm. what was that about? Okay, this isn't actually as good as I thought it was going to be. So this is actually kind of not good at all. I thought the damage on this would be amazing. It is not very amazing. It's fine enough to kill these guys, obviously, but the big guys didn't do a hell of a lot of good against them. Oh my god, the splitting fuckers. He was 
too close to me for me to shoot him. Either way, gonna leave it there. Skeleton, he, he, damn him. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I'll see you guys in the next one.